Hey guys, Dean here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five apps that are going to boost your productivity. These are apps which you can use to set your own schedule for the week, how to optimize your workflow and boost your productivity from day to day, and some great apps for note taking and just staying on top of everything and optimizing your productivity flow throughout the day. Hopefully your week will be much more productive with using these five different tools. This is going to be a quick video, so let's jump into the list. These basically are tools which do very similar things to each other, but some of them are quite different in their own regard and some of them have their own pros and cons. But I'm going to give you a basic description of them and you can check the links to all the tools in the description down below. So the first one we have at spot number five, this is not listed from numerical order from best to worst. We have ShareX. So ShareX is a screenshot tool. It's a tool which I use quite a few years ago. I used to use a tool which was originally quite similar to it called Push and I used to use that to send screenshots to my friends but then I discovered ShareX which I think is a much better alternative to that. ShareX basically is a tool to allow you to screenshot anything. When I'm on my web browser I just use my browser because it has a built-in screenshot function but when I want to screenshot anything else on my computer be it some kind of window, software, games or something which I'm doing currently on my other monitors I use ShareX. That's because I can screenshot anything on the screen within a selectable region, which is customizable. And also they have a GIF creator too. So if you want to show something like a little mini tutorial, or if someone needs help with something on Discord, you can just record a set area of your screen if you're doing some kind of procedure or process, and then you can record that as a GIF and then send it to them. It prevents you having to upload a full video and it's just so quick and helpful to help people solve things. So that's why I like ShareX and you can quickly get a little hot link or URL that goes straight to your image or straight to your GIF and you can share share them really easily. I think there's a feature to upload them directly to Imgur as well, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember, but it's a really useful tool. It's really great to share screenshots with your team or to create quick images to then upload to your website or use for tutorials or blog posts. It's a real lifesaver. Now, one feature also actually lets you screenshot text on the screen. And by text, I mean some kind of logo, right? So if I had some Photoshop image with text on it, I could screenshot that with ShareX and using the special technology which is called optical character recognition it'll detect the text in that actual image file or that picture and then it'll actually put it into copy and pasteable text which is actually typed so you can actually then copy and paste that text or use it for anything you want which is pretty smart it uses ai to do that and i think that's such a cool feature so if you need to screenshot things or quickly get images of your computer sharex is the best tool to do so the next one is click up so click up is an all-in-one tool to store your work in in one place. It allows you to create different tasks and separate projects to each other and build documents which you can use to create goals for monitoring your progress. This tool has a whiteboard, it has mind maps on it and it also has a screen recording feature which is built entirely into the software. Projects can also be manually imported into ClickUp and for my opinion I think this software as a whole is really great for project management for a professional or a personal purpose. If you're collaborating or working as a team or using it for a business I think this software is really good to get everyone moving in the right direction and working collaboratively and to make sure everyone is actually doing what they should be. If you want something to plan out your process, this is a tool which would definitely be useful in a professional circumstance. Another one at number three is Obsidian. So Obsidian is a knowledge-based note-taking app, okay? And I really like this. This is a tool which has come up in the previous few years, which is kind of starting to overtake some of the more popular ones. And this is useful for taking notes and organizing those notes into folders to tags or even notebooks. There's a lot of power in the software and there's so many things you can actually do with it. It also has plugins to extend its capabilities, which is what I really like to see in software, which is something you usually only see in open source software. So we can actually extend all the feature sets in Obsidian by downloading the community based plugins, which I really like that the software has that extensibility. Notes are displayed in a knowledge graph, which attempts to simulate how your brain works with all the brain stems and things coming off from the middle ideas just like a spider's web and it simulates how your brain works. There's plugins which allow you to have page preview, daily notes, a tags pane, audio recorder and more to add more features like I said before and there's themes that also let you modify the look of the apps interface too. If you're looking for a note based app and you haven't got into anything I think this is the more sophisticated looking one although it can be quite overwhelming when you first use it but it has a lot of power behind it so I definitely recommend 
to take it for a spin. Next one is Trello. So Trello, I think, is one of the best collaborative apps for teams. I've seen it being used in a lot of video game projects. I remember it was used in the two video games I played. If you don't play video games, you probably won't know. There's two games I used to play or actively play. One was H1Z1, which is kind of like a PUBG type game, Battle Royale. Then there was another game called Ground Branch, which is a military simulator. Now, these two games use Trello. And on video games, you have something what's called a roadmap, right? So it's basically an outline of the plan for the future of the game to show the community that they're making progress. So the roadmap will have all the future planned updates. And in those updates, it'll have the future planned features, which the game's players can expect to come in the future as game updates. And a lot of these game developers use Trello for this. And anyone can use Trello to track a project's progress towards the future or to achieve future goals in a project. So it's a great project management tool. Trello is great for collaboration and managing projects, and it uses lists to set up phases of a project based on their completion. And then you can update their status throughout, tick things which have been completed, things that still need to be done. And a lot of products use this system for their roadmaps and updates. You can assign individual people or teams of people to each task cards on the interface, and then assign due dates for the completion of each of those tasks and projects. So there's a real bunch of features in Trello which makes it so powerful and a lot of features which a lot of other softwares just like it don't have. And then the last one we have for productivity apps which most of you guys are in the productivity space would probably expect for me to feature and if I didn't you'd probably get annoyed with me. This is one which I haven't actually used that much in comparison to the other ones on this list but that's Notion. Notion is regarded as kind of like the golden goose of productivity apps and planning apps. There's so many people who use it on YouTube. A lot of productivity YouTubers use it so you know I had to feature this one and you see so many people who are students using it too so I think Notion is probably the more popular of the productivity and note taking apps in the previous few years it has definitely risen to popularity but basically this is great for note taking and task management you can connect and reference your notes very easily with Notion it's really good in terms of its organization and it's also great to create a daily schedule and a planner to optimize your productivity and set your goals and short-term goals on and what you have to do for the day now it can be useful to also run a content creation pipeline or a creative process in it and outline a business strategy and then track your progress and personal productivity over time. Now, I know Ali Abdal on YouTube uses Notion quite a lot as well. He has quite a complex workflow with Notion. I don't know if he still uses it. There's also other YouTubers who use it. A lot of these productivity YouTubers use this. You can create different categories on Notion which have different icons and labels to them to order everything exactly how you need them. It's a very neat tool. It has everything you need to do and if you need everything them particularly and precariously specifically ordered just how you like it or you have OCD this tool will be great for you okay you can customize it so much you can develop and share templates for notion setups too so if you're struggling with kind of getting into it or you don't know how to create the perfect setup to optimize your workflow or keep everything organized you can find pre-made templates on YouTube that people who are a little bit smarter or more well equipped with the software I've already made for you so that concludes this video on the top five productivity tools these should all work for windows i'm not sure if all of them work for mac but you can let me know that in the comment section below also if you use any of these apps tell me about them in the comments too why you like them or why you don't like them or your opinion on which is the best out of these five tools or any alternatives to these tools which are maybe better or that are worth a feature that i didn't actually mention give the video a like and subscribe for more videos like this on the channel and i'll catch you next time